Following the posting of a flashback video on the American Pickers Facebook page, the fans airballed their complaints. The video showed then co-stars Frank Fritz, 57, and Mike Wolf, 59, haggling over the price of six remote-controlled toy boats. After the transaction was finished, Frank added to his findings by spending $40 for a genuine Mr. Potato Head toy kit. Fans who commented on the post appeared less irritated by the pair's pickings and more upset by the abrupt shift in the show's schedule. Another best of episode is not new, according to one commenter. Literally, it is the antithesis of new. We are thinking the same thing, a second supporter wrote. Why does it mention that this is a new episode? A third asked, why wasn't there a show on tonight? The question posed by a fourth commenter was, what happened to the new episodes? If you don't air new episodes when they're announced, you'll effectively destroy the show. After the season's lowest ratings, American Pickers changed its schedule without warning. Mike, his brother Robbie Wolf, and Danielle Colby are the stars of Wednesday's new episodes of History Channel. The History Channel won't be airing any new episodes of the program this week for the second week in a row, the US Sun has exclusively land. The pause has not been explained on social media platforms. The second half of season 24's new episodes debuted on July 5. The last episode aired on August 23. The US Sun can confirm that ancient empires will replace American pickers. Since July, a fresh batch of American pickers episodes has begun airing, but the numbers haven't exactly been stellar. Mike's friend and the show's first co-host, Frank Fritz, first stepped down in 2020 to recover from back surgery. After having a stroke in July 2022, he was fired from the show and put under guardianship. In 2022, Robbie, Mike's brother, officially joined the cast as a full-time actor as Frank was being fired. The US Sun, however, exclusively disclosed the brothers might be prepared to split up shortly. Mike's friend told the US Sun in an exclusive interview, I don't know how long the show will go. I'm unsure of how long Mike and Robbie intend to continue. They probably want to retire at some point. Twelve years have passed. It makes things difficult for you. They've been doing this for a while. Ah, we're back on the road, people say as they come around. I don't have time for this, and I don't have time for that. Like any work, it's a love-hate relationship. On certain days, you don't wish you had that job and had complete freedom. On certain days, your enthusiasm for work is palpable. After a successful opening on July 5, with 918,000 viewers, the sitcom is currently getting poor ratings. While 713,000 watched the July 19 broadcast, 803,000 watched the show on July 12. The program from July 26 received improved ratings, drawing 885,000 viewers. The show on August 9 had 778,000 viewers, while the episode on August 16 had 706,000. Only 620,000 people watched the program from August 23. This is the lowest season total. Mike recently skipped his hometown's yearly festival in Iowa, despite having publicized it and urged followers to go with him. Tuckfest, an annual event in McClare, Iowa, featured a parade, fireworks display, color blaze five, grace, carnival, and a tug of war between Iowa and Illinois across the Mississippi River from August 10 to 12. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal that Mike did not attend his hometown celebrations despite promoting them on social media. Before the festival, the show's creator said on his blog, one of the coolest benefits of setting up shop along the mighty Mississippi, experiencing Tugfest, a unique event, Come spend the weekend with us in Leclerc, Iowa, where you may take in the quaint atmosphere, watch a titanic tug-of-war battle, and learn about antique archaeology. It's a once-a-year pleasure that's as unique as our treasures. The U.S. Sun was able to corroborate that antique archaeology did not take part in the parade on August 10, despite a number of nearby shops giving out candy and goods to the throng. Instead, to commemorate Tugfest, 
the shop gave out an antique archaeology fridge magnet with a $59 purchase. According to a source who spoke to the U.S. Sun, Mike spent the festival in Tennessee, where he usually resides. His sister, Beth, and her family were at his Iowa house on the Mississippi River, directly across from the carnival, on Friday night for the fireworks display. Multiple despite encouraging people to visit Lake Claire on his social media, locals in Lake Claire told the U.S. Sun that Mike isn't frequently seen in the community. However, an insider claims that Mike does go to his antique shop twice a month to oversee operations and bring in new stock. The collector went to the event in 2021 with his girlfriend, Atisha Klein, according to exclusive images published by the U.S. Sun, show the couple taking in the procession.